Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Plus Minus by Crusader175. So this is a new rule to me, so I'm going to be going over it uh, carefully here. So we do have normal 6x6 six six Sudoku rules, meaning in every row, every column, and every 2x3 box, we are placing the, di the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. We also have these plus minus lines. So these cells have these minuses or or pluses. It's really horizontal and vertical lines. So don't treat this as a plus sign and this as a minus sign. Um, it instead has to do with whether it's horizontal or vertical, and these just happen to have both a horizontal and a vertical line in them. So let's go over what each one means individually. So a horizontal line like this one, this is our example, if this ends up being um, a 3, then the sum of these two cells is 3. So we could do, say, 1 and 2. So here, this is saying this cell plus this cell equals this cell. So 1 plus 2 is 3. Or we could do 1 plus 3 is 4. Or we could do 2 plus 3 is 5, right? That's how that works. Now, vertical lines are the difference. So it's giving worth 5, column 5 as an example here. If it's 2, then the difference between... Um, I think this is meant to say row 4, column 5. I'll fix that in the rules that are published. Uh, row 4, column 5, and row 6, column 5, the difference would be 2. So we could do, for example, 6 and 4. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. Or we could do 4, 6. You just take the bigger minus the smaller. All right, and that's it. Those are the rules. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. Okay, how do we get started is the question. I think I think that the key here is probably this one to start with because there's a one in the box and in this column here. I guess the column doesn't really matter. The box is what matters, but this is both a sum and a difference. So let's think about min and max. It's the sum of these two. The sum of these two is minimum two plus three because there's a one in the box. So it's at least five, but it's also the difference of these two which would be a 6 here and a 1 here with a difference of 5. So this, this has to be 5. You obviously can't have two, two, two cells differ by 6. That's not possible. So this has to be a 5. This has to be a 2. Oopsie. This has to be a 2, 3 pair. And then this has to be 6 and 1 because it's the only two digits that have a difference of 5. And we know the order because of this one. All right. So let's actually just fill this out. Actually, we know this digit is a 4. This is 1, 4, four 6, and this is 2, 3, 5. I think that'll help think about this one. So this has to be the sum of, at least the sum of these two, 2 plus 1. So this has to be at least 3, so it's definitely not a 1. And again, you can't have a difference of 6, so this has to be a 4. Now, difference of 4, so that would be 2 plus 4 is 6, if we wanted to do that. 3, plus, three doesn't work, because we can't do 3 plus 4 is 7. We can't do 7 minus 3. We also can't do negative 1. So 3 doesn't work. 5, we could subtract 1 from that, but there's already a 1 here. So actually, this does have to be 2, 6. Very nice. And then this is 4, so how do we make these add to 4? We're certainly not using a 6 for that, so we're doing 1 plus 3. And all that resolves. Very nice. Um, I think I'm going to fill this and this because they have they relate to this uh, summing here. So let's just fill this. This is 1, 3, 5, and this is 2, 3, 4. So we need to sum these two to get this digit. The minimum they would sum to is 2 plus 1 is 3, but this can't be 3 or 4. So this is definitely 5 or 6. So how are we reaching 5 or 6, I guess, is the question. Um, we could do, let's start with this 2 here. We could do 2 plus 3 to get 5. We cannot get 6. So that does work, though, 2 plus 3. So I'm going to corner mark what actually works, 2 plus 3. The 3 here would need to add, we can't do 3 plus 3 is 6, so that repeats the 3. And we can't do 3 plus 2 because there's no 2 over here. So the, the, the 3 doesn't actually work. 4, we would have to add 1, 2. That does work. So 4 plus 1 to get 5 does work. I'm actually going to record that. So far, we've only gotten to 5. Um, 4 plus 1 equals 5. That does work. Uh, we can't get to 6 because this can't be a 2. Okay, so that's it. This is either 2 plus 3 is 5 or 4 plus 1 is 5. We cannot use a 5 here. That makes sense. And this always adds to 5. All right. Very nice. So this triple here is one two, 1, 2, and 6. This cannot be the 1 or the 6, so this has to be the 2. That makes this 4 plus 1. Okay, so these aren't 2s, these aren't 4s, these aren't 1s. Nice. Um, I'm going to fill these triples because I think it'll help. Well, I guess I'm going to fill this triple because I think it'll help this sum. I don't think we need the top one yet. Eh, we'll, just, we'll just fill both anyway. This is 3, 4, 5. This cannot, yeah, I suspect it's something like what happened. This has to be the 3. 
Um, and so then this finishes with a six, and now this is a pair. This needs to be two, three. Okay. Um, down here we don't know much. We know we can't use a one, though. So this is at least five. This is five or six. So we could go two plus three, or we could do two plus four, or we could do three plus two. We can't do three plus three, because that repeats the three. But both five and six are possible. Uh, I wonder how this breaks. Well, let's look at this pair here. We've got one, two. We need four and five here. Um, oh, we have a three, five pair here. So this can't actually be five. So that's six. That helps. That's one. That's six. So now adding to six, we cannot use the three. We are going to be two plus four. And I think that finishes everything. Five and three here. We get five and four here. This is three, five, two, three. We get our one and our two. And I apparently, oh, I used, <laughs> apparently this solves making the sum, but it's not supposed to be a sum, it's supposed to be a difference. So let's try that again. <laughs> That's really interesting that it actually solves as a sum. Um, my mistake though. So I should not have filled five, six here. Uh, in fact, let's fill in the four digits this can be. It can be one, two, four, six. These can't be one, these can't be six. Okay, so we need to subtract these two to get this one. So obviously they're not going to subtract to six. Can we subtract a 4? Yeah, we could do 6 minus 2 is 4. So let's use the corner marks again. 6 minus 2 is 4. Uh, we could also do 4 minus 2 is... Oh, we can't do 4 minus 2 is 2 because um, that repeats the 2. Um, so yeah, the 4 is not possible here. Um, and 6 minus 3 doesn't work. Yeah, so so far we can only do 6 minus 2 is 4. 2, I don't think we're subtracting anything from 2. So this actually is 6, 4, and 2. This is 5 and 4, this is 3, that's 3 and 5. We get our 1 and our 6 here, we get our 2 and, and our 1 here. That's 3 and 2, 5 and 3, and then over here we get 4 and 5. And this time it is the correct solution. Wow, okay. Thankfully there's a solution check or I would have published the wrong one. <laughs> All right. Yeah, sorry about that. This was a subtraction, not addition. It's interesting that it solves if you treat it as a sum, but obviously that that is not what the rules were. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, uh, sorry for that mess up at the end there, but uh, you know it happens. Uh, thanks, Crusader, for the uh, for the puzzle. Um, really interesting rule set. Um, it's a little bit confusing that these look like minuses and these look like pluses, and that's not how they work. So maybe there there's another way to formulate this that uh, can remind people a bit better. But um, I was able to remember until the very end, and I also treated it as a sum for some reason. Or sorry, I, I treated it as a sum for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why. Because it is, it does look like a subtraction sign in that case, but this looks like a subtraction sign and is a, is a sum. So anyway, <laughs> uh, it is what it is. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.